Yeah. Well, right now at this hour of night, you can see that the line here at the South Security Checkpoint is not that bad. Of course, are usually a whole lot busier. But we spoke with some of the largest airlines flying in and out of this airport, and they tell us that business is good. It feels like Christmas time before the pandemic at DIA. I wanted to get here at least two and a half hours before the flight took off. COVID cut travel traffic last year, but now people are heading to see loved ones despite the spread of a new fast moving COVID-19 variant. I thought it was going to be pretty busy because of holidays, everybody going to see their family. And the numbers don't lie. It is busy. And it's only 5% lower than the same period in 2019 is what we're forecasting this year. And that's good news for Denver's largest carrier in terms of total flights and destinations. United Airlines. Leisure demand is back and this holiday season we're going to actually see more than double the amount of customers that we had at the same time last year and actually levels that are equal to if not higher than what we had in 2019. United's Denver Hub Vice President Matt Miller says Denver has been key to his company's recovery thanks to a strong domestic schedule that has seen an increase all summer and fall. Denver is uh, United's fastest growing and largest hub right now. And with more than 60,000 United customers a day, planes are full. The airline and airport say the busiest day will be Thursday, December 23rd, but they're seeing something a bit different this year. This year we've actually seen our travel demand actually spread across many days with flexible work schedules work from home customers are actually leaving a little bit in advance and likely coming back a little bit after the holiday southwest airlines also seen full flight says denver is its largest and busiest operation and frontier says it's looking forward to a robust holiday travel season and has added new destinations in fact all three airlines in this report say they are expanding at dia